In this video, I start preparing my newly acquired Sprinter van for a camper conversion. One thing a lot of people do with these vans is they will mount equipment underneath the, the van floor, usually water tanks, sometimes other equipment, and I'm looking to do the same, so I need to figure out what kind of space I've got under there. Right now, a lot of it is taken up by a optional rear air conditioning system that's going to be coming out soon. After a bit of crawling around underneath with a tape measure, I've got some pretty good ideas on what kind of spaces I'm going to have available. This fan came with a host of climate control issues. The first one I'm going to address today is the fan speed or the lack of fan speeds. It either blows full on or not at all. The piece of equipment that controls this is the blower resistor. This is a new one I got and it fits right up into that little gap. Getting this thing out with one hand is a huge pain in the butt. But somehow I managed it. Lots of dust up inside that connector. I'm going to have to get that cleaned out and probably a lot of other ones too. So here's the new one on the left, old one on the right. The old one can be repaired by replacing that resistor at the bottom. And there's the new one in place. And look, I have fan speeds. That's one task down. One minor task I wanted to take care of was rerouting a cable loom to pre prevent it from getting shredded by the fan. It needs to go over the top of that heat shield. It usually goes right there. That hole usually has a clip, but it's missing, so I improvised. And now the fun starts. Taking down all these panels with all these self-tapping screws and all this old nasty poly ISO board. This is going to take some time. take even longer, I expect, is dealing with all this old, dried up glue. This stuff is nasty. We'll see how long it takes me to get it all out. Today's beer is, thank you sir, I have another, from Hop Atomica in Savannah, Georgia. I stopped here on my trip back from acquiring the van. Hop Atomica is the hot ticket in Savannah these days. I see posts on beer groups of these cans all the time. 
and I was really glad I could make it down there. big hurdle to cleaning out the interior is this air conditioning system with these hoses routing down through the floor and it's going to be a huge pain in the butt. The trick is I've got to get all the refrigerant drained out of this system. Fortunately I found a Midas close by who's willing to do it for a very good price. Turns out that both the stock air conditioning system and this optional one are tied in together so it's one reservoir of refrigerant that needs to be drained so it, apparently it's stupid easy. This is another climate control issue, this heater valve. This controls the hot or cold air coming out of the vents and when it's busted it only blows hot air. It requires power to close the valve to cut off the heat. I also got a new fuel pump to address my fuel gauge issue. This one has an auxiliary line, which I've got hooked up, that I'm going to use for my hydraulic heater. And then a kind soul on the internet gifted me a used air conditioning compressor to go in the van to replace the old one, which threw a clutch plate who knows how long ago. 